our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. Pearson making his featherweight debut. He's three years younger than Junior Asuncao, who will have a two-inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. The beautiful Ariani. Sean Della, Brittany. Here tonight inside the MGM Grand go, Garden Arena. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go! As Pearson makes his featherweight debut. A Sun Sal has fought at 145 many times. He debuted many years ago in the UFC as a lightweight as well. But back then there was no 145 or 135 inside the octagon. A Sun Sal professor Capoeira has a lot of good kicks in a and a style with his stand-up very much as you pointed out the last time we watched him like Lyoto Machida the way he stands back and keeps his hands out and looks to spring forward to do damage yeah he has altered that style over the years and he really has accentuated the Lyoto Machida like movements now he took Ross to the ground here Ross got his back up against the cage and Junior's trying to get a hold of those legs and, and scoot him away from the cage get his hips away so he can't wall walk back up to his feet Pearson, the native of Sunderland, England, has been training in San Diego for well over a year now at the Alliance Training Center with Lloyd Irvin and Eric Del Fiore. Of course, the champion Dominic Cruz. The sun's getting his back, Mike. Yeah, this isn't good for Pearson early. He's, he's also got over under, too, which is the right way to go about this. A lot of guys, they go double underhooks because of that's how they do it with the gi on. But without the gi, over under is the best way. Pearson's free. Pearson with a nice left hook. Charging forward, which he always does. I think they might have collided heads there. I'm just acknowledging it. Southpaw, the Sun Sao against the orthodox stanced Ross Pearson. Ross has very good striking. Phil Davis. Gave him a lot of props when he started to train in San Diego. Head kick. Trying to cut off and find an angle is Ross Pearson. Avoids the takedown and throws the knee. Pearson, a very offensive pressure style fighter. Little stumble by a Sun Sao. Yeah, Sun Sao's really adopting the Machida like stance here. Trying to get that takedown here. Got his hands connected, grabbing a leg. He's got one leg tied up in between his legs. Can he fall backwards and trip him? That is the big question. His new teammate, Dominic Cruz, is telling Ross Pearson to control the head, push the head down of a Sun Sao to help himself get free. And he does get free. Pearson, one of the most likable fighters, and most of them are likable, that we have in the UFC. Really has embraced the spirit of mixed martial arts and the competition there within. Longtime member of Team Roughhouse with Dan Hardy and Andre Winter, who he fought in the finals of the Ultimate Fighter a few years back. Let's see what a Sun Sao does from these very unorthodox stances. Yeah, this style seems to be troubling Ross a bit. Usually Ross is much less hesitant with his strikes. Nice knee. That's called making him pay for the takedown attempt. Same pressure, Ross. Keep forward. They are pushing for pressure in the corner of Pearson. They want him to keep moving forward. And a combination connects. 45 seconds. Remain in round one here in Las Vegas. Nice Good combination. Time. Very nicely done by Junior. The Sun South scores. Quick kick. 
And he avoids very quickly. Well, I would like to really go back and watch some of his earlier octagon fights to see if he fought with this stance. It's definitely as Machida-like as we have seen because Lyoto is so unique in his fighting style. And, and that's from the karate background. Good punch by Pearson as we come towards the end of the round. He's doing what we thought he was going to do. He's going to run away. We need to work that double jab. We need a little bit more penetration on the double jab. You get that angle, you're going to have to let two, three, two go. Higher volume combination. Okay? If you feel the cutoff, shoot that right kick. If you softball, shoot that right kick. Now you got your range, start shooting the inside kick. You know what I mean? You feel, but set it up before. Other than that, we have to put more pressure every now and then, walk under the fence and let it go. Chin down inside. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. You, you saw that when you, sh you hit him, it landed. When you were punching, it was landing. He's not, he's not able to find you. Just keep putting on pressure. Don't take him down unless, unless you jab first. Do, don't take him down. Don't go for the straight takedown. Junior Sun Sal Ross Pearson set for the start of round go, two. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Come on. Well, Sun Sal really didn't have any success with his takedown attempts in round one. They were coming from such a distance. He wasn't able to close in on Pearson. And now Pearson wants to turn this into a fist fight. But Sun Sal keeps his hands very low, Mike. His chin wide open. Oh, now he got the takedown. Good scramble. Ross back to his feet, but the Sun Sal still has a lock on him. Nicely done by Pearson. Yep. Let's see if Ross can find the range to open up with his hands. Inside leg kick connects. Nice answer by a Sun Sal. Seven and one between UFC appearances and a seven fight win streak for Junior Sunsau. Ross is trying to push off with his right hand and, and perhaps land some knees and he can get a hip free. And there's a left knee. Junior spent some time training with Coach Drew Lawrence in Colorado for this fight tonight, looking for the takedown. Ross did land a good right hand in that exchange. And he's on top here. Let's see if he chooses to engage Junior or if he steps away. And there's your answer. Yeah. A bit surprised because he's having, you know, he's it's, it's having a real hard time reaching him here. And as he's moving forward, Junior just landed a good straight left hand there. This is a very frustrating style. You can see it in Ross's eyes. You know, he's pressing forward, but Junior's always moving away from him. And, you know, you heard from his corner, from Eric Del Fiora, that's what they were, that's where they were anticipating. They knew right. he was going to move away a lot. Sun Sal trying to work and pressure Pearson up against the fence here. Just about at the midway point of this fight, scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Looking for the knee. Trying to get a head kick in. It's just a really difficult style that Asan Sao has. Just a little cut under the right eye of Junior Asan Sao. I'm sure that's got to be a little bit encouraging for Ross. He knows he's at least reaching. Nice body, body shot. shot. And I like how... It, oh, yeah. solid jab. There we go. He yeah. utilized his head movement. And now he's starting to tee off. Good right hand there as well. I got another left to the body. Beautiful knee to the body by Pearson. This now is the Pearson kind of fight catch Ross Pearson was. Finally, he's got a hold of this guy. Watch the fence. Watch the fence.
Pearson would love to show some dirty boxing from this position. So far, a Sun Tso doing a good job of controlling his wrists. But we saw a, a little glimpse of vintage Ross Pearson a yeah. second ago, Joe. And there was another glimpse right there. That was a very nicely timed knee to the body. And there's another one with the left. The Sun Tso trying to answer. Pearson with a quick jab. And it was the jab that first hurt him, Mike. A really solid stepping in jab. Looking for the leg. Good takedown defense by Pearson. Forty-five seconds on the clock here in round number two as they battle for control. Pearson, watch for another knee here. Oh. Nice trip. Beautiful job by Pearson. Now again, let's see. As you said, will he step away? He doesn't get the choice this time, Joe. The Sun Tso grabs the leg immediately. Nice elbow, but the Sun Tso took advantage of that elbow and tripped him to the ground. Good back and forth scramble a moment ago with the Sun Tso and Pearson. Final seconds of round two. Elbows from the bottom by the real deal. And big shots at the finish by a Sun Tso. Sit down. Just, just, just hold on, just hold on. Just breathe. Breathe. Relax. He said that the first half of the second round, he got you, but you, you finished off strong. You have one round left now. And this is where Ross caught him with a straight jab, and that hurt Junior. You see him go down the one knee. A nice stepping in jab. Excellent technique by Ross Pearson. And here Ross executes a beautiful trip. Gets on top. But Junior immediately laced up the legs and Ross had to step out of there. The stunning Brittany Palmer. Third and final Ready? round Ready? of go. this featherweight fight. Pearson and a Sun Sao. Quickly coming out with a kick. Is Ross Pearson the Brit? Featherweight debut. Oh, he got oh. caught as he was coming in. He got caught by a stiff jab. He got caught by a stiff jab, and now he finds himself on his back. He's got the close guard with the jujitsu expert on top of him. Let's see if the Sun Tso is able to capitalize on this opportunity. He's got his back here. This is not good for Pearson. He has one hook in, and he's on him. He's on him. He's trying to sneak that right leg over to the right side so he can get a right hook in as well. And if he does, Ross is in all sorts of trouble. Junior is also working that left arm across the neck of Ross. He's trying to slide it under the chin. He may switch to an arm bar here. The way he reached over and grabbed a hold of Ross's right arm, I believe he might be going for an arm bar instead. Pearson. Junior's going to go for a Kimura. No. Nope. Stays on the back, over under control again. But he does not have any hooks in. Lost it totally. Lost it totally. Excellent opportunity for, there for Junior, but he couldn't capitalize and, on and it. And a nice job by Pearson with the elbow of getting back up. And you can see the work with Dominic Cruz and Phil Davis and the time spent on the mat in San Diego paying off for Ross Pearson, who is ever evolving his MMA game. Couple of shots to the body by the real deal. A Sun Tso again yeah. with a nice lead. Well, you know, a Sun Tso learns. Look, he got hurt yeah. by a stiff jab, so what does he do? He starts hurting Ross with a stiff jab. A nice stiff stepping in jab. Very close fight. Nice. nice knee. Very nice knee. Pearson trying to work his way free again. Right in front of his corner, telling him, keep the legs open. 
and make it tougher to be taken down. Use Ross, that wide stance. Ross landed a couple of good shots in the face there inside that clinch, and Junior's got him down. Ross got one leg free, and he's back up again. Excellent oh. takedown defense by Ross. On the exit, a nice strike by Junior Sun Sao. Sun Sao with the combination. Midway point of the third and final round. Looking for another takedown is Junior Sun Sao. Very relentless tonight is a Sun Sao. In trying to impose his will on Ross Pearson. Slip and rip by a Sun Sao. Big deep breaths being taken by Junior. Very nice leg kick there by Ross and glancing jab. This with the left hook as well. The cut certainly nice doesn't. Nice knee. Yeah. The cut certainly doesn't seem to have affected Ross Pearson in any negative fashion. He looks very fresh still here in the third and final round. First time at 145 in his MMA career. 90 seconds now remain in this fight. Watch for the right elbow of Ross Pearson. To the body. Oh, nice elbow both ways. Both men connected. Head kick. Nice stepping in head kick. Oh, and nice knee by knee. Pearson. Pearson is trying to finish this fight. No right. question. You, you got to give him that. He's certainly not trying to play it safe. And he seems to be the fresher of the two fighters here with 45 seconds remaining. So you can get another trip. Right hand connects. 30 seconds. Sunset wobbled again. Pearson with a nice. combination body nice. shot. The body. And followed up by the knee. The Brit pushing forward. 15 seconds. A strong finish here in the third and final round by Ross the real deal Pearson they go the distance the second round was where Pearson started to find his range and connect and it started with this stiff jab that dropped Junior And here's a nice trip there by Pearson. There's a head kick. Very difficult opponent. Very hard to look good against Junior Sun Sal. And uh, I, I think a good learning experience for Ross Pearson. And for Junior, a good learning experience for him as well. But I believe that Pearson is going to get the nod here. We will soon find out. Stiff jab was utilized by both fighters. And Junior was able to get Ross down a couple of times, but was unable to capitalize on the position. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 29-28, 29-28, and 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Ross the Real Deal Pearson. Ross Pearson, the winner by unanimous decision.